This is Kevin Gain with Team Losey Racing. I'm with the category manager for TLR, Todd Hodge. We're here to talk about the new uh, TLR 22.4, and uh, Todd's going to show us uh, a couple things oh, about there's the There's a lot of preconceptions out there that you need to run the, the ride height pretty level with this car, uh, based off of a lot of the people racing, you know, obviously two-wheel drive buggy. Um, we've found that you actually gain a lot of steering by actually running some downward rake in the, in the front of the car. So essentially the rear of the chassis higher and then the front of the chassis lower. Um, over the weekend, I personally, at the Reedy race, I personally ran, um, I ran a 23 millimeter ride height in the back and a 19 millimeter ride height in the front. Now the front ride height, you could range anywhere probably from 18 millimeters to about 21 millimeters. And then the back is right around 21 to 24 millimeters. So whenever you're running the, uh, basically the forward rake of the chassis, you're just gonna have more off power steering in the car and also a little bit more on power standard as you exit the turn. So here today I'm just going to show you how, how we set the ride height on the 22.4. Um, it's simply done just like your two wheel, take it about you know six inches off the ground, drop it, let the suspension Again, settle. Again, running that downward front rake chassis, chassis rake is allowing the car just to gain more steering on and off power. So here we're going to show you where we actually measure it from, which is right there, basically right under the slipper shaft. So we're at 19 millimeters there. Now go into the back, again, forward rake in the chassis. So we're gonna drop it from a few inches, adjust this to 23. And we're a little low, so obviously we gotta give a little bit more preload to the shock collars. Drop it again to settle it. And there you have it. So right about the center, right under the center diff is where we measure the, the rear ride height. And again, that was at 23 millimeters at the Reedy race. Obviously, depending on the track conditions, will dictate you know what you need uh, out of the car, whether it's more steering, less steering. If you need less steering, obviously you could run the front ride height a little higher, more steering, run the front ride height a little lower. Um, you know, if you're running on a really uh, high grip track, you might want to just try the whole car a little bit lower to let the chassis get down into the track. Uh, if you're running on a high bite, or I'm sorry, a low bite track, you could run the chassis up a little bit higher as far as the ride height goes to have a little bit more uh, traction. So there you have it. Ride height on the 22.4, a uh, little bit different than the 22. Uh, we want to thank Todd Hodge for coming by and uh, showing us uh, uh, the proper way to set the uh, ride height. I know that's one of the most important things, you know, bone angles and different stuff all come into play with the ride height. Uh, so thank you for doing that, and uh, stay tuned. Uh, at the end of the video, be sure to subscribe to the Team Losey Racing YouTube channel. And uh, the next video we have up, I believe, is going to be uh, checking your slipper and uh, diff settings with Todd Hodge as well. So thank you.